There are many players on the Eagles that have become fan favorites in this city. Some have spent their careers showing off their skills to the fans of Philadelphia. Others have left the nest far too early for a myriad of reasons. That's why this week's top five focuses on the top five players whose stay was too short. Coming in at number five, a player drafted in the seventh round who never even signed with the team, Temple's own Raheem Brock. Raheem Brock would have been a guy we were talking about as one of the ultimate steals in the draft for where you got him. You know, perfect Philadelphia story. Dad played for the Eagles, grew up in North Philly, went to Temple. You're thinking this is a home run. And he ends up walking, you know, for, for monetary reasons and has an unbelievably successful career in Indianapolis and Seattle. He's a guy who should have probably to this day still been in an Eagles uniform. Coming in at number four, a player who had fans singing his praises until he returned as a cowboy. Terrell Owens. And I know it was his own fault, but he has to be on that list. You know, the Eagles, three straight years making it to the NFC Championship game. And everybody was yelling and screaming, can we get a wide receiver in here, please? And all of a sudden, the Eagles go out there and make the trade and land Terrell Owens. Yeah, and his stay was too short. Uh, he only played one full season. That following season cut short because he was a little bit of his own worst enemy. But still, T.O., his stay was way too short in this city. I mean, T.O., I mean, if he doesn't do the sit-ups in the driveway, you know, who knows? He comes back, everybody mends fences, and he plays, and maybe they go to another Super Bowl and win one. So I, I got to put T.O. as a guy that as much as people make fun of him, if he hadn't had that issue and wasn't doing push-ups and sit-ups in his driveway in Morristown, New Jersey, I think he could have won a Super Bowl here if he had just stuck around and that thing would have been a total disaster. Coming in at number three, a man who lived life with a personality as big as his stature, the late Jerome Brown. It's unfortunate that he passed away. Absolutely, every Eagle fan will tell you that. Um, he was a special player out of Miami. Uh, guy really just loved to play around, loved fast cars. Yeah, Jerome Brown to me is, is probably the saddest case. And you, think about, you talk about a life that's just cut way too short. In, in terms of what kind of football player he was, there's no question in my mind he's a Hall of Famer. You know, everybody talks about what Warren Sapp was, and we saw Warren Sapp go in the Hall of Fame a couple years ago. Warren Sapp couldn't hold a candle to Jerome Brown. Jerome Brown was an absolutely dominating force, and just beyond sad that we lost him that early. Coming in at number two, a quarterback who was traded to an NFC East rival and made his way into Canton, Sonny Jurgensen. Well, Sonny Jurgensen was a mistake. I mean, the guy is here, he's having a great career, he wins a, wins a championship, and then the Eagles inexplicably not only trade him, but send him to the Washington Redskins of all teams. Sonny would be pretty high, uh, you know, because he had a great season in 61. 32 touchdown passes is still uh, the franchise record in a 14-game season. But then he got injured uh, at the end of the 61 season and was really remained injured for 62 and then the team kind of fell apart in 63. And remember that's when the we went from NFL championships to Super Bowls. Who knows maybe the Eagles would have been in the first Super Bowl instead of the Green Bay Packers. It would be nice if you could think about Sonny Jurgensen having played all of those games all of those years in Philadelphia. The Eagles history for the rest of the 60s decade might have been a lot different if they had, had Sonny Jurgensen under center. And coming in at number one a man who got cut and changed his career. Hall of Fame wide receiver Chris Carter. Chris Carter, to me, is a bit of a different case. You hated to see him go. At the time, we're all screaming, what is Buddy Ryan doing? He has the infamous line, all he does is catch touchdown passes. And Chris Carter, for years, didn't really let on what the true story was. The only jersey I own that is not Eagles, I have his Vikings jersey because I have such bad hands when I play that I always just, because he had the best hands in the league. Remember, Carter's hands were the best hands to lick. No one's hands were like his. He's a tough guy. Yeah, I think uh, when history is written about the whole Chris Carter thing, the Eagles had no choice. And of course, Chris acknowledges that, that Buddy did him a favor. So to say that, hey, I wish his time would have been here, I'm actually glad it didn't because it basically saved his life. It was a wake-up call. He got treatment for what was ailing him. And, and to me, it's, it's a sad story for, for the Eagles that they didn't have him but it's a, it's a success story for Chris Carter because it turned his life around. So there you have it, your top five players whose stays were too short. Let us know what you think on Twitter using at Eagle Shows, hashtag Eagles Top Five.